T-Rex Arms vertical GP pouch. So this is our first take on a general purpose pouch. We did size this for the quad flap chest rig. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna open this guy up, go through the features on the pouch. We're gonna mount it on the chest rig, mount it on a speed belt, and I'm actually going to put a bunch of stuff in it just to give you guys an idea of what can go into the pouch. So it'll come in a bag similar to this. You may have a different design on the bag, but here's the pouch. So what we have is we have two zippered pockets on the front of the pouch. They're both the same size. This is kind of a design that we haven't seen yet. Um, I'm sure someone will make it at some point. We generally only see one zipper, but we decided just to do something a little different. Just two equally sized um, zipper pockets on the front of the pouch. On the inside of the pouch, you have some loop field, and this gives you the ability to put um, some chem light holders, battery holders, whatever you wanna call it, any sort of divider that you may wish to put in here, you have that option. You have four tie down points. You can tie down all sorts of things. I'm gonna demonstrate that here in a second, some examples, and then you have a sleeve in the back. So this is a pretty thin pouch. So um, overall, the form factor is very nice, especially for a chest rig. On the back of this, you kind of get an idea for the sizing of the pouch. It's three molly high and uh, three molly wide. And then you also have the two inch um, pass through for a speed belt. And this is actually technically two and a quarter, but it does fit two inch speed belt. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to slide this on a speed belt for you guys just to demonstrate that. Um, the use case for doing that is really, if you need a GP pouch in your speed belt for whatever reason, if you're on the range, you wanna put your phone in a pocket. This is a good option. So this is, this is you know, rocket medicine here. Um, as I put it on upside down. You can throw, you should be able to slide this through either way, but this side with the mail buckle will be easier. And it literally just slides through the, the two inch seam. And then there you go. That is on a speed belt. Let's molly this guy onto the chest rig. So again, this pouch was designed and sized for the chest rig. Obviously it can be used on various different things. That's why it has molly. Um, but when it comes to the sizing, this is going to fit just about perfect on here. So what you're going to do is you're just going to molly through the first slots on the chest rig, just like so. And you're just going to feed it through and molly like you would anything else. As you go through mollying, if it's mollying equipment onto uh, other equipment, it's something you're not used to doing or kind of new at. A, a little trick to make it easier is as you go, just pull this thing tight. Um, because if you have a bunch of slack built up, it's just gonna get a little difficult. Now we did, si again, I'll say it for like probably the ninth time already. This is sized for this chest rig, so this should be pretty easy to molly on. We did do that intentionally. All right, so finishing up the molly here. Now when you, what you're gonna notice is you're gonna have these tabs hanging off the end here. And these are actually meant to go back through as a lot of pouches do already. Now what some pouches do and some do not, is something called the garage. And as you'll notice here, once you get those tabs back in, you have a little bit of webbing here hanging off. And what this is for is the tuck back into um, the, the molly on the pouch. And this kind of locks that in there and now this guy's not going anywhere. So once you molly this guy in, make sure you have those tabs tucked in. Now let's load this guy up with some stuff. Now for context, it is important to understand like why is this stuff going into this pouch? Really what goes into this pouch, it's a general purpose, so there's not a specific purpose for this pouch. Um, matters on what you're doing and what your role is and whatever that scenario is. So in this scenario, we're gonna practice some land nav. So I'm gonna actually put all of my land nav tools, most of them, into this pouch. So I'm gonna start with this really big map. I can unfold this for you guys, but it is quite massive. I'm gonna slide that guy into the sleeve. I will slide a nine line card reference into here. A protractor. And then we will do um, this right in the rain that I duct taped to hold the pin. So as you guys see, quite a bit can fit into this sleeve. Um, I can probably fit more if I really wanted to, but I'd say that's probably maxed out. Now I'm gonna take my um, pins that are held by chem light holders, battery holders, whatever these things are. I'm going to Velcro them in here, just like so, so they're somewhat organized. I'm going to use my one of the tie downs for the compass, 
So I'm going to use the loop here that's closest to my body. Actually, I'll do the one that's second closest. So this way, when I use my compass, say I'm using it at night and I drop it, it's not going anywhere. So it's secured to the pouch. Tuck that guy down in there. Secondly, I'm gonna, actually we'll do, we'll do pace beads. Now, some people like pace beads, most people hate them, but they are a good tool. So I'm going to lace these into one of these tie downs as well. So if you see people put these on their shoulder, shoulder straps, um, they've probably never used pace beads before. Now what this gives me the ability to do is instead of trying to come up here and do my thing with pace beads, this is just hanging in front of my kit and it's, as I walk, I can just hold my hand out kind of relaxed and count beads. Or you can use this if you have a lot of anxiety like me to um, help relieve your anxiety. Uh, and then we will throw spare antenna for the radio in here. I think that's very important. And the last few things I'm going to throw into these front pockets. So I got some batteries, spare radio battery we'll throw in here. And we will do um, some Leatherman trauma shears. It's kind of a multi-tool, does three specific things, but can do a lot more than those three things if you so wish. Actually gonna throw, this is a cable to hook this push a talk or cop mic into my headphone. So say I wanted to make sure no one else can hear my communications, that's what this cable's for. Keep that easily accessible. And the last thing, I'm actually gonna tie in um, my tape. So in one of these tie down points. So there you have it. That is one example of a built out GP pouch. Now, going around again, we'll just talk about the features one more time. Uh, if you're wondering about any of these small things, so you have these little tabs here on the end of the pouch, around or on the end of the zippers. What these do is when the zippers, whether open or closed, are at the bottom, it kind of keeps the, in theory, it keeps these up so they're not just laid down next to the pouch and it's a little easier to find. And then you just have a grommet at the bottom, and what that does is it's drainage. So. Uh, that's all the features for the pouch. That's the pouch mounted. We mounted it on the chest rig, on the belt. And as you can see, we put quite a bit of stuff in this pouch and it's still fairly thin. If you guys have any questions regarding the T-Rex Vertical GP pouch, go ahead and email us at team at t-rex-arms.com.